we're going to open up Godot and we are going to make a new project. To open up Godot, you'll be able to use the launch pad or the F4 key on your keyboard and type in Godot. It'll be that little icon. You'll click it and you'll open it. If it's not there, then you'll need to open it from your downloads, uh, which is right here because maybe you've opened it from your downloads. It'll have a similar icon um, and you can also sort by name, um, I have a bunch of folders with Godot uh, because I've been getting a bunch of folders turned in with Godot. Um, but again, if you have it in downloads, do yourself a favor and just kind of drag it and drop it into your applications so that you get it in Godot. Here is Godot again in the applications. Very excited about that. So once Godot is open, let's go ahead and open it. Kind of has that window to open and then if it would stop opening in my other monitor. These are the projects I currently have. I want to point out a couple of things. First, these are the name of the projects. Steven Platformer, Platformer, Steven Hello World. You should name your projects with your name and the name of the assignment. So if we're doing a, whatever we're doing that week, um, and it should have your name so that when you submit it, I know who it is. It's a lot easier for me to tell whose it is when you submit it with your name in the folder. Next, I want to point out that this is the address or the location of the thing in the computer. So currently this one is users, Lowe's, desktop, Steven Platformer. That means there's a folder called Steven Platformer on my desktop. Currently you can't see any of my desktop stuff, um, but if I open up Finder and go to my desktop, there is a Steven folder right here. Um, you'll just have to trust me on that one. And that's the folder that I want to use. If it doesn't have the desktop, it's in your home folder, which you can find by going, go, and home. And these will be your home folder. It has folders in the home folder like desktop and downloads and apps um, and all of those wonderful things. So we, we want to avoid using the home folder, honestly. You should put it on your desktop. Um, so that's how do you, if you have the file already like it'll be here if you're making a new one you click the new button uh, you'll give it a cool name uh, in the in the future we're going to be making flappy bird so Stephen flappy bird um, and then of course the project path we're going to want to go into our desktop and use that folder and create that folder so that it, it the whole project path is Steve, users lows again you'll also be Xcode desktop and then the name of the project. We're going to be using forward plus and we don't need to change this git or anything like that. We're not going to use it but we don't need to change it. Also we don't want mobile or compatibility. We're just going to go forward plus and we're going to create and edit that and that will create um, well it will open I guess I should say a new empty project. I think that's everything we need to do for this video. Thank you.